Shamai. We are here at Motoring at the Manor. Let's check out some of the amazing cars on offer here today. Hey, so Anthony, um, could you explain what is taking place here today, please? Yeah, it's a, a new um, a initiative called Motoring at the Manor. Here we are at Celtic Manor today. And uh, this year, uh, there's going to be a lot of very exotic machinery on display on the 16th of June. Um, but for the future, the idea is to have a competitive element to the event, like a bit of a hill climb. And if you look at this spectacular setting here, you know, with the lake in the background, the golf course, uh, you've got some great uh, uh, service roads here to, to hold a, a sort of mini hill climb event. And it's, it, I think it will be something new for Wales and it's got tremendous potential. I don't think I've ever been more envious in my life, Anthony, standing here in front of these incredible uh, machines. Can you talk us through the one we have behind you here? It's a very um, unique bit of kit, this I understand. It's one of um, the world's only single seat road cars. It's a road legal car, looks like a racing car. It's a great uh, um, success story for British engineering. Uh, probably best known for racing in the British Touring Car Championship during the, the heydays of what they call supercar, uh, the, the super touring during the 90s, where we were racing against the established uh, touring car drivers, John Clennon and Alan Menu, but also some of the Formula One drivers like Nigel Mansell, Derek Warwick. Uh, my son couldn't believe when I was beating uh, Nigel Mansell on a regular basis through the 90s in, in touring cars because he was a Formula One world champion, as, as you know. Uh, my co-presenter Sam, um, I've lost him. Have you seen him anywhere? I saw somebody nipping into a Ferrari a few minutes ago. Oh, and I hope he hasn't done anything stupid. 